The nearly two-week-long ordeal of U.S. Army pilot Michael Durant has been closely followed by millions of Americans. Today, the rumors of an imminent release proved true, and that announcement was greeted with sighs of relief from residents of this Gulf Coast community. I think it's just great that this finally has been released and he's been able to come back home. You surprised? No, I think with the amount of troops that we have over there and the people we have negotiating that he was going to be released. Fantastic that he's home, you know, coming in, he's home. But I think they need to go in there and just wipe them all out for what they've done. Well, I'm glad they did. First of all, I'm a Vietnam vet and I didn't want to see them go over to begin with. I thought they already just stayed at the house. I was real excited. I'm glad that he did get released. Um, I think we need to, um, to get all these people out of here as rapidly as possible. We don't have any hostages over there. Um, we don't belong there. We really don't. Durant is the only soldier the Pentagon had confirmed was being held captive in Somalia, but a small number of Americans still remain unaccounted for. In Pascagoula, Dave Straker, Action News 10.